Welcome back. Our next guests are part of the team behind the new film, This Is Not About Swimming, which follows a woman's journey navigating her grief at a public pool. <laughs> <laughs> this short is a comedic drama that is making its world premiere at the Toronto International Film Festival, and it's something that's close to my heart because I'm in it. Yeah! Take a look. You want to answer your phone? Do you want to um, come look for car seats with me? Now? Yeah, or we could do something else, something fun. Um, we could go get our belly buttons pierced. That's fun. I mean, it's weird for me, but it's fun for you. Let's not do this. Do what? Do you want to get a tattoo? Ange, I just need some space. At a public pool? Yes. Who cares about swimming? This is not about swimming. <laughs> Please welcome to the show, Marty Van Dyke and Emma Hunter. the filmmaker behind this lovely short and it is a story that it really dives no pun intended yeah. <laughs> into a lot of really complex emotions yeah. and sort of uh, it's, it's about conquering a fear it is also about trying to let go of things it's about grief so mm -hmm. it feels deeply personal yeah where did the inspiration for the story come from I mean, it's been a really weird few years for me. <laughs> it's been a really weird few years for everyone, I'm sure. And I wanted to make a film about grief because I think we've all experienced that in various permutations for various reasons. For me, laughter has always been a life raft. And so I wanted to tell a story about how grief can really affect intimate relationships, um, but then also leave room at the end for this hopeful peace uh, for us all, individually and collectively, to sort of move forward. I love that. I love that. And Emma, you play my sister, I younger do. sister. I do. <laughs> and of course, we all know you for your humor. You're one of the funniest people in oh, this country. It's yeah, absolutely yeah. true. But why do you think that that perfect recipe there of using comedy and tragedy almost works so well together? Well, yeah, I think. In, in my opinion, it's the greatest form of storytelling if you can get those two sort of right beside each other, but it's incredibly difficult to get it right in terms of tone. Mm -hmm. And I do think this film is a testament to Marnie Van Dyke's writing, her directing, her capability as a filmmaker. Marnie sees her own life like that, the <laughs> tragedy and the hilarity right beside each other. And I think just the alchemy of those two things can be so effective in storytelling. And I think we get it right. I hope so. I think yeah. we do. Oh, yeah. So. Obviously, we all love Canada, loves you, yeah, and knows your incredible talent. And we see you all the time doing fun field pieces, but this is different. Like, you're massaging a different muscle here. So, mm. what was it like to be acting? <laughs> it, was, it was a little bit terrifying at the yeah. beginning, but then knowing that Emma was involved oh. and was there to show me the ropes, it was intimidating at first to be acting alongside oh. you, but yeah. then it felt so wonderful. And then, Marnie, yeah. I asked Emma, is every director like this? Because after every take, Marnie was just so incredible, telling me exactly what she loved in that and took me aside quietly and said, that was so good, can you try it uh, this way next time? And she did it in this beautiful soft voice. And I love pleasing people. So I was just like, Marnie, whatever you want, I'm gonna do it. I just wanna make you happy. And so I asked Emma, is every director as thoughtful and kind and intelligent as that? And you were like, nope. <laughs> No, it's not always like this, Jess. Welcome. <laughs> more, importantly, more importantly, Emma, what was it like for you working with me? Oh. <laughs> well, I mean, the word diva comes to mind. <laughs> just, you know, if anybody looked at Jess in the eyes, she would just fly off, throw <laughs> things. No, no, for me, what was, it was so exciting to work with a sort of greenish actor because, you, you know, you sort of never know who you're gonna get. And I just can't explain to you guys how badly Jess wanted to get this right. It was the most heartwarming. Mm -hmm. You know, when we weren't rolling, Jess was just running lines maniacally in her head. And I could see her sort of trying things out at the side. I'm just like drinking coffee and like yeah, probably flirting muffins. with the camera guy. Yeah. Like, <laughs> guy. But Jess was just, and I was like, that is just so the right attitude. You just want to come in like just, to, and Marnie, you know, this is like a big moment in Marnie's career. And so the two of you kind of working together in this moment was so beautiful. And Jess is electric in the film, oh, the most oh, sort of pleasant person to be on a set with. And I think she's going to quit the social and come no. <laughs> But she is gonna get, I think, a lot. She's just so good in this. Well, so everybody go see it. Uh, Jess had a real, you had a real Baywatch moment in this movie, wearing an, this iconic red <laughs> bathing suit. 
which is amazing, and the bathing cap. Uh, Marnie. Oh, the whole shoe. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, woo, so good. Marnie, I hear there's a story about how you sourced this look. We got this bathing suit from a very exclusive boutique, uh, Jess's Closet. <laughs> that you had this idea of yeah. this iconic bathing suit. Yeah. And then the original vision from the beginning, I imagined the character would wear bright red, which is such a attention grabbing color in this moment of her life where she felt such humiliation against this pool. And so we were on the hunt for a red bathing suit and she's like, I got it. it in her I got it. Like, well, <laughs> and she's like, the right style, the right style. And so it was very kismet in that way. Okay, yeah. so the whole premise of this, this is that you're learning how to swim for the very first time. I'm sure people are gonna wonder, like, do you, are you actually a skilled swimmer? I am such a good swimmer. Oh, here we go. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> I was like, can I fake it not being able to swim? Mm -hmm. It was so hard, but I think I did a pretty good job. It's called acting. <laughs> acting. 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 Uh, thank you all. <laughs> so much. Man, 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 it's man. a really delightful <laughs> short. So good. Uh, it is called, of course, This Is Not About Swimming, and it is part of the TIFF Shortcuts program happening at the festival right now. Go and see it. Hey there, what did you think? Drop your comments below and join the conversation. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can find more on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. See you soon.